Good morning, Wildcats. I am Michael McFarland. And I am Christopher Lemus. Today is February 21st, 2018. Attention students, you can visit dentists every Friday from 8 to 4 p.m. You must first fill out a registration form with a parent's signature. The forms can be picked up in the wellness center. Once the form is completed and returned, you must also fill out a request for an appointment form. Upon completion of these forms, you can guarantee the dentist. And now for our segment on Black History. Triumph can't be had without the struggle. A quote by the track and field icon Wilma Rudolph. When you think of Wilma Rudolph, you think of someone who must have worked really hard to overcome her obstacles in life. But that's an understatement. Rudolph suffered from several early childhood illnesses, including pneumonia, infantile paralysis, and polio. She worked hard even though she was told she would never walk again. However, she did recover from polio, but she lost strength in her left leg and foot. Despite this, Rudolph was an all-around athlete and she was spotted by the great track coach Ed Temple while playing on her high school basketball team. Coach Temple saw her abilities and knew she was a natural-born athlete. Rudolph then went on to compete in a major track in the Alabama's Tuskegee Institute. Rudolph unfortunately lost, but she was determined to keep going, keep competing, and win. She knew that her talent isn't enough and she needed to put in that effort, that determination to get her to her goal and hopefully surpass it. She's a role model because she shows us that you need to work hard for what you want. You can't settle for less than your goal and that's exactly what she shows us. Determination and effort is the key to success. This determination took her as far as to the Olympics. In her first competition at the Olympics, she won a bronze and decided to try again and go for the gold. At the 1960 Olympics in Rome, she went for the gold and won it three times, becoming the first American woman ever to accomplish this. Over her lifetime, she has won the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame, the National Women's Hall of Fame, the Associated Press Women's Athlete of the Year. Rudolph was also honored with the National Sports Award and many more. Remember, the triumph can't be had without the struggle. Today, we pay tribute to the track and field icon, Wilma Rudolph. Thank you for that inspirational presentation. And now to Jonathan with our college report. Wildcats, we'd like to congratulate even more students who've been accepted to college and universities. Students such as Jasmine Edwards to Bowie State University, Jalen Pierre to Wesley College, Maya Pierre and to Salisbury University, Emily Truba to Hampton, Lorianne White to Towles University, Faith Wilson to Towles University, and our very own anchor, Wilma Ruby, into the University of Valley Forge. If you see these students around school, remember to congratulate them on their, on their accomplishments. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Wildcats. These have been your morning announcements. I am Michael McFarland. And I am Christopher Lemus. Have, have a great, great day, day, Wildcats. Wildcats.